Hi, I'm Dr. Bertice Berry and I want to tell you a story. I am currently in my hometown of Wilmington, Delaware. I grew up in the same place the president lived, lives. I ran into President Biden when he was Senator Biden when he was visiting my new home of Savannah. I said to him, hey, I'm from Wilmington. He was like, hey. And he said, where? And I said, um, on the east side. He said, where? And I said, Gordon Street. And he went, and I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little alley. It's not really a street. It's an alley between 22nd and 23rd off of Market Street. And he looked and he said, I know where it is. I'm just wondering how you got off that street. I began to think of that as I was coming in last night. And I'm here for a funeral of someone who was influential. The whole family, in fact, the Thompsons. And then I had the Dorseys. And I had my Aunt Gladys. I had Miss Griffin and Miss Denton and Mr. Morris. I had Miss Moses and Miss Clausen. There are so many, Miss Goss, oof, so many teachers and educators and families, the Rainies and Mother Church of God in Christ. So many families and experiences <sighs> who spoke into my life. So many people who encouraged me, maybe two minutes of encouragement, maybe it was two years, maybe it was two seconds. The self is social. We're a product of everything and everyone we ever come in contact with. Sometimes I meet social workers or people who work with folks who are in trouble or having a difficult time in their life. And they. They get upset and they say, I don't know how I can change this. The little that I do, they have to go back into the situation that they're in or they have to deal with this and they have to deal with that. But I'm here to tell you today, those of you who speak into the life of anyone else, who encourage someone along their way, who smile at every child you see, it doesn't take a lot when your situation is really filled with darkness, it just takes a spark of the divine to remind you of who you are and what you can be. It doesn't take a lot to look at you and encourage you to be better, to do more, to see bigger. My sister Chris used to take us to the Brandywine Park. And she'd say, you know that little dirt, patch of dirt behind the house? That's not your backyard. This is your backyard. My sister Myrna would tell me all kinds of amazing stories and fables. And at the age of 12, she gave me the book Science of the Mind. And I was like, I wanted a bike. She said, there's a big world and you can have it. Don't be discouraged about how difficult someone's situation is it is for them. Just be reminded that whatever amount of hope you can share lights a pathway to a whole new world. And all of those folks, all of those memories, all of those kind words came rushing back as I just came into town. I could feel their kindness. I could feel their love. And it washed away. Every person who ever said anything bad, whoever looked at me with some kind of whatever, it washed it all away. So thank you all, the kind people, the smilers, the encouragers. We need you to be who you are and we need so many more of you. I love you.